The, the fifth hallmark I discuss in my book is extreme diversity, what I call extreme diversity, where when you see unique designs that are just totally unrelated to anything else, that's a great evidence of intelligent design. So in engineering, the example I give is you have internal combustion engines, or you have hybrid cars, or you have electric cars. Uh, these, you cannot evolve an IC engine car into an electric car. They are so different. You, uh, if you want an electric car, you just get rid of the entire transmission and engine. You put in a new power plant and transmission system. That's some, you can't evolve that. You need an intelligent designer. But in the natural world, you see the same thing. You see these unique creatures and plants. A classic example would be the platypus. Uh, it's a monotreme mammal, uh, very different to us. It's egg-laying, venomous. Uh, duck-billed, beaver-tailed, uh, otter-footed, uh, and it cannot be classed by evolution. At first, they thought the creature was a joke, um, but it's a real creature, and it, it doesn't form in any. It doesn't. It can't be put into any classification uh, system. And there are lots of special creatures in the natural world. The camel uh, is an incredible uh, creature with lots of internal and external features that help it survive in deserts, very dry areas for walking on sand. It's just totally different to uh, a horse. And it's not just creatures you can say this about, but also plants as well. I don't know if you've heard about the ginkgo tree. I talk about that in my book. The ginkgo tree is a very special tree. It's the only tree with fan-shaped leaves. There are tens of thousands of types of trees. They all have a central stem in their leaf, central stem, except for the ginkgo. It's the only one, the only tree with fan-shaped uh, leaves. It has deciduous leaves, but a conifer-type seed. So it's a mix between deciduous and conifer. It's a single species in a single genus, a single family, a single class, a single phylum. And not only that, but if you look at the fossil record, they haven't changed for supposedly millions of years. They are a huge headache to evolution. There's this uh, very unique uh, design. Um, and I've published a little bit in this area. Um, recently, uh, just last year, I published a paper, Multimodal locomo uh, Locomotion from Animal to Application, uh, discussing some extreme types of creature. 